and welcome back to this week's episode of Happy Hour with your mermaid mixologist, Hollywood. If this is your first time joining, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. You'll get a notification every single time I post a brand new video, which is usually Thursdays at 5 o'clock Eastern because you know as they say, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. This week I'm going to teach you how to make the mermaid lemonade mocktail and then I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to make the mermaid lemon drop martini. So if you watched the video last week, I went ahead and told you what ingredients we need. So let's go ahead and get started on the mermaid lemonade mocktail version. For our mermaid lemonade mocktail, we are going to use a pint glass. I'm going to go ahead and rim the top of my glass with some rock sugar, which in this case I have sugar in the raw. So I'm going to take one of my lemon wheels and I'm going to go ahead and get the top of my glass full of lemon juice. Now that our glass is prepped, I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to make the mermaid lemonade mocktail. So we're going to use our shaker tin. I'm going to go ahead and fill the large side of the shaker tin with some ice. And we are making a blue lemonade. So basically we're going to use equal parts, simple syrup, and lemon juice. So now simple syrup is really simple. It's, you can totally make it at home. It's equal parts sugar and water heated up on the stove, brought to a boil, and then bottled. Now I have my simple syrup and my lemon juice and I'm going to add two drops of blue food coloring. Take the top to your shaker tin, pop it on top, and when you shake, you always want to shake away from your face, and you want to put the big shaker tin towards your guest so that if the lid comes flying off, it goes behind you and hits the wall. And if anything splashes back, it's going to splash on you or towards you and not your guests. But if you shake properly, you shouldn't lose the lid. So you want to hold the top, hold the bottom, and shake. Okay. So you could feel it getting chilled on the side. Uh, if this was an entirely metal shaker tin, you would see it frosted. You tap it and you strain it into your freshly iced glass. And there we go. We have our mermaid lemonade mocktail version. Welcome back. Now I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to make the mermaid lemon drop martini. Go ahead and grab your martini glass. This is so cute. It's a rhinestone scented martini glass. Very mermaidy. If you're interested in your own personalized rhinestone scent martini glass, or champagne glass, please check out the Mermaid Hollywood Etsy store. All the information is going to be detailed down below. Now that I've shamelessly plugged my rhinestone scent martini glass in, you want to actually chill your martini glass before you start making your drink. Go ahead and put some ice in there. I'm going to build the drink in a pint glass for you guys. You can see what I'm doing. Go ahead and fill the pint glass with ice. Much like the mocktail, we want to use equal parts 
loving juice, and simple syrup. So we're going to start with an ounce and a half of lemon juice. I'm going to take my jigger, my big size is an ounce and a half. I'm going to have the simple syrup. We're going to use an ounce of one of our magic lemon ingredients, Midori. So I'm going to use about two thirds of the large size of the jigger. And we are also going to use an ounce of our original magic lemon ingredients. Carousel. Again, I'm going to use about two thirds of the big side of my sugar for an ounce. And last but not least, we need our vodka. Any vodka at home that you have will do. We're going to use three ounces in our martini. Ounce and a half. Ounce and a half. Now, as a rule of thumb, you basically always want to build your martinis into a pint glass because, as you can see, the lid of your paper tin is not going to really hold everything. I mean, kind of little, but you might end up pour a little bit of glass in the lid. So, to be safe, use a pint glass. Flip it over, hand on the bottom, hand on the top. Take your glass, dump that ice, go ahead and grab your lemon wheel, bring your glass, put it into the sugar, swirl it around. Look at that mermaid lemon drop martini. Perfect count. I hope you enjoyed this week's happy hour with your mermaid mixologist, Hollywood. If you're interested in your own rhinestone stemmed martini glass, champagne glass, or even your own rhinestone dingle hopper, or maybe you know a special mermaid in your life that would like one, be sure to check the Mermaid Hollywood Etsy page for details. Till next week, see you at 5 o'clock Eastern.